Hey guys, how's it going? Well, this is part of my safety speed clamshell holster collection. I do have other ones. I've got probably, I don't know, three of these. These take a six inch. And that's actually a factory, uh, a factory die job on that. K38. Safety speed holster, Quittier, California. Now they were in uh, Montebello, I believe. Yeah, Montebello. But these are vintage holsters, and they're very, very, very hard to come by. Uh, they don't make them anymore. Safety speed was in California. Uh, I believe from like the late 40s, early 50s, up into like the mid 80s. So what we have here is three generations of uh, safety speed holsters. And these two that you see here, this one is a very rare one. Uh, it's very hard to get. It's in plain black. And it will hold, you can barely read the writing on it, but it'll hold a four inch revolver. These all hold wheel guns. I believe Safety Speed made them for actual automatics at one point, but this is the newest edition and I think it's a very nice holster. This was made in, you can see the brass snap, this was made in the uh, I'm going to say, just to go out on a limb and say that it was made uh, in the 80s, 1980s, as opposed to 1880s. But this is not a modification on here. Safety speed, one problem with their holsters is they came up with this holster design and a lot of departments got it. And if you watch Adam 12, you know, there's several old vintage police shows where you'll see Adam 12 use this type of holster, plain black, uh, you know, with the hidden, hidden hardware. And, uh, but what, what kids would do is kids would go up to police officers and there had been times uh, from what I've read is they would just go in and then push that button and uh, you know the holster would uh, would open and the gun would fall on the ground because the officer wasn't ready for things like that so uh, but that was a you know those were very isolated incidents but in order for officers to actually uh, use these holsters. They had to go through special training and uh, as you can tell here These trigger guard uh, Supports are those go right behind the trigger so and when you actually reach into to pull your gun out you just hit this button but these are all steel lined. But anyway, I'm getting getting beside getting beside the facts here. So what they decided to do is uh, they wanted to make a high ride holster for uh, the CHP officers, and you tell that they're in Montebello, California again. And so what they did was they added this retention strap and it's spring loaded not spring loaded but it's spring reinforced and when this is closed it's very easy when it's on a belt all these fit on Sam Brown holsters but you know it's very easy to just let that go while you're drawing your weapon, but if somebody comes up and pushes it, 
it's not going to spring out because it's held in place with this strap. There are a couple things I don't like about this holster. As you can see here, it's fully leather, leather lined. These holsters feature uh, hidden, you can tell right here, there's a mechanism that runs through the holster itself. When you press the button, that releases the catch here and there's an internal spring mechanism that will actually release you know this is held under pressure motorcycle officers use these a lot uh, because they are steel lined this is steel on the outside and steel on the back so and leather wrapped that's how quick it comes out very quick but that one is missing, this one is missing this little support brace. But it's still a very good holster and it really doesn't affect, uh, affect the performance of, of the rig. This one, yeah, it's getting a little dusty, but uh, this one is one that everybody wants. And these things go for about Oh, I've seen them go up for, you know, $300, $400, but uh, they're just that rare and they're that hard to get. Uh, I didn't pay anything close to it, but uh, at the same time, very good holsters. I may sell a couple of the clamshells. Uh, this one I do like. The retention strap comes off very quickly, and it opens up with authority and this is for a four inch and I believe it's for a four inch K-frame Smith uh, I'm not going to swear to that but uh, one thing I do see here is that this should have been like just like on the other side here it should have been sewn in so there's a, a, a protective leather uh, coating there. And looking at this, let's see if I can't get in here with camera. This is recessed. So I don't believe this was modified after the fact. One thing that kind of makes me wonder if it was modified after the fact. Let's see if I can't look at this real quick. It looks like a stock. There you can see the mechanism very well. Uh, it looks like a stock snap. Yes, there we go. But the snap is in very good shape. I've been collecting these clamshells for quite a while. Uh, I was real happy to get this type, but I really wanted to go after one of these because I always like the clamshell holsters and the mechanism. They remind me of switchblades. Uh, but a lot of officers, there were only a certain amount of officers that were allowed to use clamshell holsters on duty, and they did have to go through a special training to uh, be authorized to uh, to use the clamshell holster. It's not that big of a deal. I mean, you know, once you grab a hold of the gun, you know, have a hold of the gun, you do have to put your finger through the trigger guard. So, you know, that is probably one of the main reasons that they put them through special training uh, in order to allow them to use these on duty but this one's a very good one and I really like it I've got a lot of holsters and uh, you know I may let, let one go I'm, I'm gonna hold on to this one uh, for quite a while but these other ones I've had them you know I mean I've had them and used them they're great you know they're very very good 
This will take a six inch. This, I believe, will take a about. You've seen the videos. I think it takes a four inch. But this one here will take a four inch. Uh, Smith and Wesson. You can kind of tell when you open this up. You've got the under lug and then you've got the barrel. So it, it should fit a Smith & Wesson. I believe it does. Uh, I have had a Model 19 in it, but it was only a two and a half inch. The only thing I see that is an issue is that this needs to be protected because when this closes, it closes almost right on, uh, right near the crane. Uh, on the other side, on the back side of the gun. Uh, so I think that could maybe possibly, didn't do it on mine, but uh, I was careful, you know, careful to check this first. But I believe that, you know, unless you've got a stainless steel brushed stainless steel gun, that might wear into the bluing. Uh, I don't know, but you know, I'm thinking it probably would through years. But you know, with any holster, it's going to do that, you know, you're going to have holster wear and, you know, that gives the gun a little bit of character. So, anyway, safety speed, the holsters, they don't make these anymore. And they're clamshell spring loaded. And very, very cool. Very nice. And I like the one with the hidden hardware. And I like that. That's my favorite one. This is probably my second favorite right here since it is a high ride. And this is just an older vintage one. But I'll probably let a couple of these go. I'm not tied down to them. But, uh, you know, at the same time, I paid quite a bit of money for them. And uh, if I do let any of these go, it won't be that one, at least right off. But, uh, you know, if I do let any of them go, it will probably be in this configuration because I do have a couple of them and I, you know, I collect holsters but at the same time, uh, you know, I like to check them out. Uh, this one is made very, very well and I believe it to be all stock. Could be wrong on that with the snap but I don't believe so. Not by looking at the aging and the way uh, the way it goes. The only thing I see of concern is that needs to be uh, covered with either a piece of leather or felt, just to ensure that bluing on a gun will not, you know, get damaged. But uh, safety speed clamshell holsters, really nice. People that are old school. I think can appreciate them and a lot of the old retired officers uh, I'm sure had these on their belts but I think these, this one was made in the 80s very very good holsters it almost looks like a brake front you know it almost looks because these used to used to be uh, well they still are I think I think they may still make those I'm not sure but uh, for a long time in the 80s and 90s, they made the they made this to where you pull the gun out, uh, and this was spring spring. There was a spring in the back, and a spring. And actually, I think it was just a spring in the front, but it would keep the holster closed and then allow you to draw the gun. Well, this doesn't even have have to make you put that much force on it. You know, when you flip that button. And it's on your belt, your gun's going to come out and you'll be holding it. So, safety speed really did a good job on these holsters. Take it easy, guys. Later on.